Yeah, well, that's what's interesting is like, you know, these people, they think that these songs, just because they're shorter, that they're necessarily simpler. And that's, that's not, they're still creative and unique in their own way. Exactly. Even though they did make a conscious decision to shorten the songs. Yeah. I always have this, like, I know it didn't happen this way, but I just have this, this like comical Hitler-esque view of Phil. I think they were <laughs> recording in a barn at that time because the studio yeah. was still being built, the, the right. actual farm. And yeah. that's cool too, is that they were recording it in a barn. But I just have this vision of him being like, "Listen, you motherfuckers! Like, if we want to stay in the game, <laughs> the times are changing. The they this want the short. Machine. I have the best-selling number one solo motherfucking album. <laughs> like, we shorten your motherfucking solos, Tony. Have you heard of In the Air Tonight? The one that you assholes rejected? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's number one, motherfucker. And that's the other. Like, that's the big debate, right? Is Tony says that uh, Phil never played it. That if he played that's it, we would have done it. Yeah. Bullshit. Because Rutherford said he came in with. With misunderstanding and in the air tonight and they said misunderstanding oh Christ see <laughs> guys did yeah but hey misunderstanding was the top 10 hit still yeah and then they try it feels like it almost feels like mama you know on the next album yeah. was a um an attempt to reproduce the atmosphere of in the air tonight yeah almost i think so yeah because yeah. they figured well he's got a hit with the drum machine we can have a hit with exactly. the drum machine exactly